And number 10, guys, the final question. Ooh, seriously, it's been a while. <laughs> we finally reached it. So this final question, and, and again, I've already solved it, wasn't too bad. It just, it just has a lot of um, annoying little calculations, but not as bad as last year's again. So what do we have here? So looking at this head on, you can see that we've got a curve here, which intersects at two different points. So I'll tell you right now that there's going to be simultaneous equations because the only way to get A and B is to use simultaneous equations on the line and the curve. Okay, so that's going to come up. Now let's, let's check out what's happening. So the figure three shows a sketch of part of a curve C with the given equation. Okay, so this one looks a bit nasty, but not too bad. The point A lies on C, so over here, and has a coordinate of 3 and minus 3 over 2. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, A, show that the equation of the normal to C, so the normal as in the perpendicular line, at this point, can be written in this equation. So this equation is actually a, perpendic is actually a perpendicular equation. So one thing to note. To get the normal, you first need a tangent, and the tangent at this point is, is basically an imaginary straight line that touches exactly once. So it's, this line here is 90 degrees. This normal is 90 degrees to the tangent. Now to get the, now to get the actual value of the gradient of this line, because remember, the typical um, line, this is just a straight line equation, so the typical equation is always y equals mx plus c. We just need to find the value m, and m is going to be the perpendicular um, gradient at the point a. And to get that, you need to differentiate this value because dy dx of, is, is also known as the change in y over the change in x, which is the gradient. And when you find that, just take the reciprocal negative sign and you're done. You found m. And to find c, just plug in the a value and you got it. So I'll show you what I did. So this is just the same statement. So the first thing you want to do is differentiate the curve, okay, and then plug in the value a. So to differentiate this one, first you rewrite this equation in a nice way. So... I, can, I always write this as um, x over 2 plus, now this one I write in power form, so it would be 27x to the negative 1, because you've got to bring it up, minus 12. Now when you differentiate this one, the x vanishes, so it's 1 over 2, and then this one, you drop the power down, so it would be minus 27x, and this goes down to negative 2, so it looks like this. And then you can rewrite this one in a nice formal way, which is 27 over x squared, and that's your dy dx by the way, so keep that in mind. So now all we want to do is firstly plug the value 3 inside to find the actual value dy dx. And when you do that, you get half minus 27 over 3 squared, which is 9. So that becomes 27 over 9, and that becomes 3. So half take away 3 is minus 5 over 2. So that's the value dy dx. So that would be the gradient of this line here. So the gradient of this line here would have would be, would be minus 5 over, 5 over 2. But because this is a perpendicular line, this line would, be, would have a gradient of 2 fifths. So you, you change to a positive and you flip upside down. Okay, so that is easy. So we know the gradient now is 2 fifth x. So that's what we have so far. So now we have um, y equals mx plus c. We now have y equals 2 fifths x plus c. And because we know point A is on the line, so we just double check. Where's the curve? So point A is here, and we know it's um, 3 minus uh, 3 over 2. We just plug this value in. So replace ax with 3, y minus 3 over 2. And this part takes a while. You just have to solve this step by step, okay? I don't think I'm going to explain it in detail, but um, just times this head-on, so it'll be 6 over 5. And then make these both over 10. So, rate, so times up and down by 5 and up and down by 2 to get these results. Make C the subject, and you should get minus 27 over, over 10. So this is the y-intercept. And therefore, we got it. So here is our equation of normal, and we proved it. But they want it in a particular form, which is 10y equals 4x minus 27. So to get there... Once you get this um, equation here, just you know, just have a look at it carefully and realize you should just multiply by 10 because they want 10y. So 2 fifths times 10 will give us a 4 because 20 over 5 is uh, 4. And then this 10 cancels out to so get 27. And that's it, guys. That's literally A done. Now, let's look at part B because this is the main part I was talking about earlier. It says that the normal to C meets, C meets the curve again at point B. So the normal to the curve at A meets point at point b again so this means that the straight line intersects again with the curve and we, and as you remember when two things intersect we're talking about simultaneous equations okay so we're going to intersect this curve here with this line here okay so that's literally the objective and we need to solve and find the values of x and y both pairs okay so that, that doesn't sound too bad 
So what I did, I just sub since we know that y, since we got an expression for y already from the curve, I just substitute all of this in into the 10y equation. So we have 10 times the curve equation equals 4x minus 27 from the line. And then just expand and simplify. So 10 times all of this, you get 5x plus 270 over x minus 120. Um, collect, throw everything to the left side, so subtract 4x and plus 27, you should get x and minus 93. And then just multiply and realize that, you know, this is the part where it gets confusion. When you have, a, when you have an equation like this and you're not sure what to do, try multiplying things. What I did, I just multiplied everything by x because, I mean, I'm familiar with this, but you should realize that when you times everything by x, you can get an x squared here, a constant here, and then another x term. So it looks a bit like this. So you get x squared here, minus 93x, and plus 270. And that's it, quadratic. Now, to factorize this quadratic, and this, is, this one looks like I just knew it. We already know one of the solutions because remember we already know that it it cuts through, the the curve cuts through a and b and we have the coins of a one of them it cuts at three x is three so we have a solution and b is what we're trying to find because we know one of them is three so I plugged in three here and we just need to realize that three times something will give us two seventy and that has to be ninety three times ninety is two seventy and actually coincidentally well not coincidentally that they done on purpose minus three minus 90 also give us minus 93 and that's it you've done it if you've done this then literally guys give yourself a pat on the back because <laughs> you guys killed it and and at this point now you got your x coordinates so you know that this first one is x coordinate of a for this corner for b that's what that's what we want right we want to find the the coordinates of b so with x equals 90 just plug into any um, of the two equations we started off with I'm going to choose the line equation because this one is, um, actually this will be fine too, but I chose the line equation because I think it's easier to work with. So when you do that, I mean, if you guys watch this, you guys are, you guys pretty much did it. Plug in x equals 90 here. All of this will sum up to 333. Divide by 10 and that's it. You're done. You got your y pair. And that's it guys. That's literally the end of the, uh, end of the paper. So, whew, so I just want to say thank you guys for, you know, spending your time watching this video and I hope this benefits you guys and um, yeah, good luck with your revision and I'm going to put, you know, the rest of them up. So I'll be putting every single paper online. Okay. If you guys got any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like, share with your friends, subscribe, you know, just, just, just pass the word out and yeah. And guys, make sure you have a really nice day. So, and I'll, get, and I'll catch you all down the road. Ciao.